against the Denver Standbys. Now, this will be a really fun one for us because we are from North Star. Hello. Hello. And we'll get to t give you the inside scoop on many of the North Star skaters today. Maybe their favorite foods. We're going to make up so many lies about We're these people. We're going to make up a lot of lies. And broadcast them to all of you. Two truths and a lie with North Star skaters. <laughs> but we haven't asked them anything. That's the best nope. part. I want to say a big thank you to everybody coming out to this uh, tournament this weekend. It's really great. Thank Shout you, out to you. Yeah, Roller thanks, Minnesota. Derby for putting this on. It's always a really fun time because we don't have to travel very far to be here. Shout outs to updated rosters. Shout out. Thank you. Oh, man. We're so close. Is there an animal collective word for non-skating officials in one in one area? No. Shout out to non-skating officials. Shout out to non-skating officials. Shout out. Woo! The amount of paperwork, if you have not been on this side of the equation, is staggering. So it's impressive. These folks keeping it all straight is, is amazing and incredible, and we love them for it. Absolutely. Yeah! Looks like our first two jammers are out there. I can tell which one is for North Star. That's Sassberry, one of the captains. Oh, boy. Wow. Oh, my. Sassberry is out there for North Star. Here we go. We're away. Jam one of uh, about three. And Sassberry is out for a lead jammer status. Not too terribly far behind, though, is Smack Overflow. Yep. Did I get that right? Yeah, you got it. I got it right. I'm killing it. Let's see if Sass can capitalize on Lee Jammer's status. Goes to the outside, takes Let's the hit, goes out of bounds, two and picks points. up two points for Sassberry. North Star up on the board. Slim Sadie wearing the star for North Star. All right, we got Sadie, yep. Yeah, I said that. We got Karen out there. Karen's out there. Yeah. Along Gremlin with Crust for, and Ariel. Yeah, Gremlin is uh, jamming for the standbys. Out Sadie, goes Slim Sadie. out of the pack first. Yeah. The real Slim Sadie is approaching the back of the pack, taking a hit, avoiding a track cut penalty. Oh, not avoiding a track cut penalty. Manny Shevitz says no. Did not avoid it. We had a star pass in Denver, and 412 is now our jammer. Keeper of the skate. Keeper of the skates. Is now assuming jammer duties for the remaining one minute of the, of the jam. Ooh, it's another two minute jam. Two minute jam. Shout out to 120 seconds. Strong defense on uh, the Supernova side. Especially by Karen there, number one nine. Good recycling from both teams, trying to get some offense going there for Keeper of the Skate. Slim Sadie approaching the back of the pack, doing some back and forth shuffling, able to sneak on by number 562. Will be cat possible. Ariel recycling keeper all the way back to the back of the pack. 
Slim Sadie getting a quick four points on the scoring pass. Get, get pretty quick. Got caught up there in that apex jump attempt on turn three. Shout out turn three. <laughs> Shout out to turn three. Magic happens there. Magic do happen. And the natural conclusion will be reached. Each skater picked up points on that pass. Supernova's up to 13 and 8 for the standbys. Still anyone's game. Except mine. It's not, it's not my game. No, it's not yours either. It's one of theirs, though. You got Katarina Hit on the line for the Supernovas. And... I usually wait for the show up there and... Bash tag! For Denver. Bash tag living up to their name. Collecting a body count before even getting through the first straightaway. Katarina Hit staying in the middle and pushing. Strong defense by Supernovas. And a very quick pass there. It was Panda coming up to the front. Red Panda, the last line to, of defense. Oh, they caught the jammer again. Bash tag finally out of the pack. Everybody getting together on that second straightaway. And calling it off after picking up all four points is Katarina Hitt. There's only three points. Oh, there's only three points. I cannot count, nor can I see. It's a good thing somebody gave me a microphone. I mean, I would have given, given Kat the four points, but I'm, uh, yeah. that's why I'm not an official. We are wildly biased, as we have mentioned already. <laughs> Sassbury once again jamming, and Speed Cat. You'll recognize Speed Cat as a pivot from... Uh, the previous Denver game, taking a lot of star passes, delivering a lot of hits. Speed Cat using their own skater to plow through the pack. Staying on one foot through that apex and picking up all four points is Sassbury and calling it off with both hands. Sassbury just kind of sneaking on by there like whoop. Just open scooting whoop. and all that kind of stuff. Sadie lining up again for North Star. I can't see who it is yet. Smack Sma overflow. Smack overflow, shoving that entire pack. And right. meanwhile, Slim Sadie able to spy some daylight on the inside. And the Smack, Smack going to the box for a back block. That gives Sadie a power jam. This power jam brought to you by paying attention to your bench staff. Denver doing a really interesting power jam defense. When Northstar came up to do some a little bit of offense, they were just like, nope, I'm going to skate no, away we'll from you. We'll just move up. It's fine. Cross reporting the box. And James Rathio. Supernovas sending a few blockers to the box. We got Crust and Jim Rat. Meanwhile, Slim Sadie picking up four, uh, four more points. I was looking at her number and said 20. Karen doing Karen a, little asking bump, for a bridge. A little bump out there at the end, recycling that jammer all the way back. Karen and Ariel Assault doing an excellent job of. Uh, the power couple known Killing as that, uh, box. Killing the box. Yeah. Slim City getting out and everybody and calling it off. Sadie making sure to listen to her bench staff. Bench staff was telling her, wait until everybody's out of the box. And she did. And then she called it off and it was great. And it was great. Everybody, it was, it again, great. shout out to paying attention to your bench staff. Shout out to bench staff. Shout out to Hoff, wearing long sleeves and pants when it's this warm out. Way to go, Hoff. That's commitment. Commitment. 
Shout out to Commitment. Here comes Katarina Hitz for the Supernovas and Bash Tag once again skating as the jammer for the standbys. Very Ooh. nearly able to get out at the very end there, but Red Panda delivering a shoulder and recycling them or bring them all the way to the back of the pack. Meanwhile, Katarina Hitz battling against the standby wall up front. Pushing those blockers. Denver Skater going to the box for a multiplayer. Multiplayer block means Katarina Hit is out for a lead jammer. Approaching the back of the pack to pick up some points. Now when a blocker goes to the box and a jammer passes just one other blocker, that jammer gets a point for not only for the blocker they pass, but also for the blocker in the box. Hey, there you go. Hey, little, the more, more you know. Incent more incentive for staying out of the box. Ooh. Katarina doing some jukey jukes to get past those Denver blockers. She's known for that. That was my favorite juice box growing up as a kid, jukey jukes. Right? That's a thing? No, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. Nope. Katarina hit, picking up four more for North Star. The Supernova's putting up a really strong defense for Bash Tag. I've been there. Star Pass! Star Pass has been committed, and Red Panda once again flying in for the last minute defense. Nice little hit out at the end there for, from uh, Red Panda. Here's a funny story about Panda. Um, I was doing a North Star like, recruiting event at a bar in Northeast, and that's where I met Panda and got Panda to come in and uh, do roller derby with us. So, Hey, that is, that is a nice story. Like a million years ago. One million years ago. Gremlin for Denver is going to be skating against Sassbury for North Star. Pack already spread way out. Way out of there. Out of play is called. Lead jammer goes to Sassbury. Sassbury able to push those two blockers up and out of play to get past. Big pile up there happening on that first turn. Battling through is... Gremlin trying to get past Salty Mod. Not Salty quite. Salty able to hit out the jammer. Sassberry sneaking on by for another four points. Star Pass has been committed. Sassberry is getting four more points. A forearm penalty is being called on somebody. Shout out to paying attention to the officials. Arnar, Sassberry went to the box. This will be a two minute jam. The last 57 seconds will occur. Full two minutes. And the infamous jam number seven. Strong defense by Hitless, Toddy, and Salty. Getting another bridge. Just a few more feet to go. Denver's out. Jammer is Not out. Not lead jammer, that'll be... Last Warfare. I said that. All right. Sass sneaking by again for another four points. Sassbury just ran out of room there at the end. Last Warfare picking up three points for Denver. Thus endeth jam number seven, the first two minute jam of the bout, I think. Yeah, it's probably right. Mm -hmm. That's probably right. That's probably right. I think so. No fact checking. All right, we got Sadie up and Speed Cat for Denver. Sadie's so, sneaking by on the. Why did, why did it stop? 
I don't know. Oh, it's back. It's back. Yay. The microphone's back. Speaking of back, Sadie is back around to score some points. Trying to sneak around without getting hit to the inside. Speedcat, meanwhile, still working on the wall of green behind. A very clever star stash is going to spring the jammer. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. That's always a good call. It works. You know, it works. Here comes jam number nine. All right, we got Moose. And Katerina. Moose may know a lot of these players because back in the day. Yeah. Moose. Used to skate here. Used to skate for North Star. That's fine. Moose getting hit to the outside and out of bounds, having to come just a little bit further back. And now it goes Katarina hit for lead jammer status. And but Moose trying to track her down. Kilroy running the show from the back. Keeping people's heads Doing on some straight. Quick offense. And a quick call off will hold Moose scoreless and Katarina hit picking up four more points for North Star and the Supernovas. If jockeying for position at the pivot line, Denver is going to stay at the front of the pack. Sassbury will get out of that pack and pick up lead jammer. Smack overflow once again wearing the star for standbys. Gets shoved out of bounds just at the last second there by Hitlist and Salty. Meanwhile, Sass picks up four more points. Yeah. Star pass happens. Star pass. Shout out to Pivots. Yeah, shout out to Pivots. Jammer's best friend. Keeper of the skate is now the Denver Jammer. Let's see if they're able to. No pass, no penalty means three points for Sassbury. And a minute remains in jam number 10. I'm hearing some good communication coming out from both teams. Make sure everybody knows where they're at. Sass calling it off. Scores 11 points for North Star, putting our score at 78 to 13. Denver not to be scoreless on that last jam. We'll pick up two. Right their point total up to 13, which is what Roxy just said. Yeah, I just said that already. Gosh. I said that. <laughs> Bash Tay once again skating for standbys, trying to shove through that giant green shape in the middle of the track. Nobody's going anywhere. Shout out to defense. Shout out to slow derby. Slower derby. Last game was fast derby. This game, slow derby. A blocker's dream, a jammer's nightmare. Indeed. Both teams now at full strength. And here we are. Here we are. Here we all are. Both teams doing an excellent job. Stop block being called. It was a direction. That oh, was a direction. This is direction. Okay, I heard, I heard somebody say stop, which is what everybody had been doing this entire time. But Sim Sadie is now out for lead jammer Sadie for Abel, North Star. Yeah. The blocking force of Karen, Crust, and Ariel 
are able to keep that Denver Jammer in the pack. Slim Sadie being sneaky and trying to avoid most of the players and kind of does and picks up four more points for North Star Supernovas. Meanwhile, at the back of the pack, Bashte trying to get around Karen. Slim Sadie trying to stay in bounds. Big hit there from Smack Overflow. And that'll be the jam. Supernova blocker headed to the box on a track cut. Those last minute penalties are, man, they really suck. <laughs> well, I get to go sit on the bench. No, I get to sit in the penalty box and go right back out. I always love the game of chicken sometimes that the blockers play up at the pivot line to try to get to the front. And like the power move that is the pivot. Putting there goes Gremlin. The Gremlin picking up lead jammer status for Denver to raucous applause from our Denver contingent. It was a slight wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Meanwhile, Katarina hits sneaking by and picking up all four points for the Supernovas. Yeah, Katarina Very able to sneak on by at last bit. Scoot on by you there. Scoots. Oops. That Oops. was so sure that Ariel is still in the box. Oh, gonna sneak past you there. Oh. Oh. Little jammer on jammer action to start us off. It'll be Speed Cat and Sassberry. That's hot. Speed Cat trying to make some seams out of that wall of green, that triangle in the front. And there goes Sassberry able to stay in bounds and Speed Cat not too terribly far behind her. And around we go. Salty trying to pin another uh, blocker back to get a point, quick point. Four Sass for one and three for the other. Say so Sass coming out on top with four and the Denver Jammer getting three. And at the very last second trying to call off that jam. The timing is always so difficult when you're going that fast. Shout out to Toe Stops on the pivot line. Slim Sadie versus Moose Definitely. This jam brought to you by the power of friendship. Slim and Sadie getting it out on the outside line. Moose tries hopping and it doesn't quite work and has to get brought all the way back by Jim Rat. Karen providing the offense that Slim Sadie needs to get through for four easy points. We had a Denver star pass. The star pass has been committed. It appears that we have a track cut penalty. Track cut while taking that star pass, unfortunately. And Slim Sadie is going to suffer, going to sustain a hit from number 562, Cat Possible. Here comes the offense from the Supernovas trying to get Slim Sadie out of the pack. Unfortunately, Slim Sadie leaves the track to the inside and has to call it off. An interesting strategy by the Supernovas. Off while, while the Denver uh, jammer is still in the box. Just to kind of start with a nice little power jam situation. Yeah, you love starting on a power jam. Again, shout out to Toe Stops on the pivot line. So that was an interesting situation. Both pivots had their toe stop on the line, but 
players from Denver had their hips in front of the North Star pivot, so they had to yield position before they could. Some wibbly wobbly move there from Katarina Hitman sharing a four point scoring pass before calling it off. But yeah, that's a that's a good rule explanation there, Roxy. Thanks for I know I know some rules. I know some of them. Been playing long enough. I should know some of them. Smack Overflow once again jamming against Sassberry. Smack Overflow trying to shove the green wall, but there goes Sassberry out for lead jammer status just on the inside line. Clever star stash and smack overflow is out. Toddy doing a little bit of offense there. Sassbury calls it off before. Did score two points. We're going to find out whether or not smack was able to get any out of that as well. That'll be all two points. Another two. So sometimes happened in the last game. Sometimes the jam refs have to talk to the pack refs. Be like, hey, did you see them pass anybody? So shout out to pack ref. Shout out to getting it right. Here comes James Rathew on the outside, inside, outside. Picking up lead jammer status for Supernovas, but not too far behind is Gremlin. Round around we go here at the Charles M. Schultz Arena. Ooh, everybody there in the splash zone on turn number two. That's two more points there for the standbys. Denver able to pick up two just at the last second. That's why they tell you, skate through that fourth whistle, because you never know. You never know. you got to play to that whistle. Shout out to giving it all out there, you skater folks. You got Katarina up against Speed Cat. Cat fight. We have a cat fight. Cat fight over. Katarina wins. That'll be lead jammer status for the Supernovas. A very. A lot of fighting going on in there in the middle. Speed Cat is out. A great strategy by Denver's jammer trying to pin the Supernovas up against that inside line and then doing a quick little bloop to the outside to get out. Boop. Yep. Yep. Thus endeth jam 18. Here comes jam 19. Hey, everybody. Se Remember our, our go-to phrase for the first spot we announced, stay hydrated. It's warm out there. Oh, yeah. Jam 19 being brought to you by stay hydrated. Moose definitely is out for a lead jammer status, not 10 seconds into the jam. Meanwhile, Sassbury is able to take advantage of some confusion and pick up not lead jammer status. Moose is going to do a little moosey tiptoes on the inside line, picking up four points and calling it off. Or if you need to cool down, there's a delightful ice cream truck outside. Oh, yeah, I had a root beer float. I had a dreamsicle float. It was lovely. It is lovely. Just like you. You're lovely. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bash tag versus Jim Rat. Jim Rat's out on the outside. A classic rat. Classic rat maneuver. Classic rat scurrying along the outside line to get out. Bash tag able to sneak around Crust, not that she had a lot of room to work with. Jim Rad is hearing the bench staff saying call it off and does. No points for either skater. Shout out to paying attention to your bench. Just want to re reiterate that. Shout out. All right, we got Moose versus Katarina Hit in the jammer position. Yeah. 
Supernova's taking the front of the pack, trying to control traffic somewhat. A lot of offense coming out from both teams and a lot of reforming being carried out by both teams on defense. Big hit on Katarina there by number 777 Miserable. And now we are back to slow derby, plus offense. Katarina hits, staying on her skate, scooting on uh, by the outside just by the skin of the rope of the uh, track there and picking up Lee Jammer's status. Ooh, we got a star pass again. And a star pass has happened, so Ms. Rebel will be the Jammer of Notes now for jam number 21. Katarina Hill is going to get through the pack and call it off. How many points? It's all four points for Katarina and the Supernovas. Great over from Kat there after sustaining a real whopper. More pivot toe stop action. Classic. Classic. Here comes Smack Overflow against Sassberry. Smack Overflow coming in with a lot of power right off the line. But the Supernova blocker is doing an excellent job of absorbing that impact. And a drawback for the... Long enough for Sass to get out. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Track up penalty and a forearm penalty, so each team is going to be one blocker down. Sassbear taking advantage of some confusion there, and Last Warfare able to get by everybody except for Hit List. There's a little bit of confusion there because the person that was the jammer got a penalty right as that star pass happened, so the pivot was like, am I, am I jammer now? Am I jammer? Yeah. Never know. Sassbury's picking up four more points for the Supernovas. Meanwhile... The pack is now consisting of everybody else on the track. Kind of getting spread out there. Two more to beat. Draws them out of play and able to pick up not lead jammer for smack overflow. Oh, so that last one, the jammer did go to the box, but the pivot still had the hat. They were not the active jammer. And then jammer comes back on. And then literally all you have to do is go bloop, bloop. Done. Do a little bloop, bloop. Do a little bloop, bloop. Shout out to bloop, bloops. All right, this will bring us to our first, inter or the first intermission of this bout. I guess it's the only intermission for now, unless we go to overtime. Everybody loves overtime. 132 for the Supernovas, 26 for the standbys. And we have a whistle for things. Stay hydrated, folks. Shout out staying hydrated, go get a tattoo, go buy some merch. We'll be right back. I mean, North Star, we, we all kind of live here, so they yeah, didn't have to fine. travel very far at all, so. No. We won't shout them out. No, not yet. Not, not yet. Not shout unless they win. Shout out to Grand Raggedy that was here. Shout out to Grand Raggedy. Any Raggedies in the house? I think Med City was here. I think Med City was here. Med City? Yeah. Sounds right. Sounds about right. I saw people wearing Med City shirts. That's why I was confused. Shout out, Med City. There's some very awesome 3D printed trophies over here. Maybe you can win one if you're a skater. Scared, I'm so scared. Last half of Have a Nice Day here at the historic Charles M. Schultz Arena here in the Highland neighborhood of St. Paul. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're at. You only have one more half to get yourself some merch over there at the merch tables. So make sure you grab some of those. Great merch. Shout out to merch.
Only 30 minutes left to also go get yourself some fresh ink. Go get blasted. There goes Sassbury out for lead jam status. Very loud whistles happening. Salty Mod recycling to the front, laying a big hit on that Denver jammer. Bashtag able to sustain the defense and get out for not lead jammer. Four more points for Sassbury and the Supernovas, bringing their point total up to 136. There you go. You did quick math there. I'm proud of you. I was, wait I was waiting for the numbers to show up. Oh, okay. Clapsing back to that jam line does the entire pack, and here comes Smack Overflow for the standbys, and Slim Sadie on the inside, able to keep her toes in bounds. Put a bleed jammer status for the Supernovas. Meanwhile, some offense coming in for Smack Overflow and the, and the standbys. Out goes Slim Sadie for four more points. The bench telling Sadie, keep going, just keep going. You're doing great. Star pass has occurred. This will be no pack Ms. was Rebel. called. Ariel doing some quick reforming of the pack. That'll be a two for one there for the supernovas going to the box. There was a destruction of pack, so Ariel and Jim Rat. Go into the box. That'll make things a little easier on Ms. Rebel, who's assumed the jamming duties. Bench telling Sadie, just keep going. We want to get that. We want to drain that box. We want to well, get those a skaters out there. Apex hop for Slim Sadie, and they're both scoring points, both jammers on the board. You got this. Box is clear. That gives Slim Sadie the all go to call off the jam and thus endeth jam two of period two. Crust and Karen doing an excellent work try, uh, helping kill that box with only just uh, two people out there. That was great. Great defense. Defense. Shout out to defense. Shout out to defense. A little split pack action here from the standbys, seeing if they can't stop Katarina from picking up lead jam. Meanwhile, Gremlin in the back of the pack trying to get through the supernovas. Not a lot of motion happening in the front there. What ended up happening was the, the Denver blocker in the back fell down, so then there was a no pack, no pack situation. Yeah, that's what happened. And Denver needed to reform. Didn't happen fast enough. Meanwhile, Katarina hits, sustaining two blows, and then getting by for four more points. Inside, outside to the middle action, and Katarina hit gets four more points. I call that juking the Katarina special. Oh, yeah. She does it to me all the time on the track. And how does that make you feel? You know, it happens. <laughs> Normal. The box is clear for now. All four blockers for both teams are out there. Katarina hit, gets hit to the inside and has to recycle all the way to the back. Meanwhile, another pile up and a whistle. This will be a forearm call being called on Guillotina. On, on Gil. Gil gets a forearm. Katarina making it out for another four points. One more points for Katarina. That is a successful star pass that Ooh. has occurred. Star pass time.
Katarina calling it before last warfare could come around and score some points. Big jam for Katarina with a cool 14 points. 14 is so cool. Sassberry once again for the Supernovas. Oh, hi, Gil. <laughs> and Bash Tag. Bash Tag. Been doing a lot of jamming today. High block. It's a high block. High block being called there on Ms. Rebel, and here goes Sassberry out for lead jammer status for Supernovas. Muscle her way to Bash the front. Bash warfare. It Bash tag able to stay in bounds with a slick spin move on the inside line for the apex. Picks up not lead. Four for Sass, none for Bash. The, One. Sup the supernovas are uh, using a strategy called the hit it and quit it. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Get points, call it off before you can get points. That's right. No, it was really James Browning it out here. Denver starting down one blocker. We got Sadie versus Speed Cat. Battle of the small Juki Jammers. Juki Jammers, speedy Juki ones. Slim Sadie going back and forth on the outside. Slim Speed Cat able to spy some daylight and sneak on the outside there for lead jammer status. Denver trying to run the pack forward Denver. to create some chaos for the blockers. Yeah, Denver's doing a great job of getting in the middle of the green wall and trying to disrupt the defense. Looks like three points. Yeah, that'll be three more for the standbys. Holding the Supernova scoreless. Right? Yeah. Oh, had to, yeah. Had to squint. More pivot line shenanigans, and here we go with Katarina hitting smack overflow. Smack nearly able to, that'll be a not lead jammer status for, that'll be a track cut. So it was upgraded from a no pass to a whole track cut. That means Katarina Hit is your lead jammer. On a power jam brought to you by Staying Hydrated. Here comes the offense, and there goes Katarina Hit for four more points. I sense this being another big jam for Katarina. We'll see. We will see. Ooh, that was some fancy footwork being put on display there by Katarina Hit, able to stay in bounds. Also, shout out to Daryl for doing some quick offense there. Yeah, where you go, Daryl? Star Pass. Star Pass gets sniffed out by Red Panda. Brawny Darko Out of bounds is they go. Now, oh, they did a sneaky sneaky. Two more points for Katarina is going to bring a jam six to a close. And say we thought the star pass happened, but it didn't didn't happen. Did it? 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 Another divided pack situation there for Denver before finally coalescing to try to stop Sassbury from getting through on the inside. Cannot, and off goes Sass for your lead jammer. Bash Meanwhile, tag, bash tag. Going up against a very hard supernova line. Hitless doing some offense there for Sassbury to get on through and grab four points. Uh, A little bit of a pile up there on the apex. There we've got our no pack, and the pack is, has returned. 
Couple of big hits there. Sasper is back for another scoring pass. Hitless able to stop Bash Tag in the front. Skaters hitting the ground left and right, and we're getting another forearm penalty, and Sasbury picks up four more points. Sass says, I'm done. I'm going back to the bench. Thank you. So far, the 12 points for, oh, it'll be. And say the jam rep having to check with the OPR to see if Sass passed a blocker. And turns out she did. Supernova starting in a power jam with Sadie as the jammer. Sadie getting brought all the way to the back by the standbys. Not quite able to sneak through. Helpful pick there from Creston Ariel, able to spring slim Sadie out for your lead jammer for Supernovas. Supernovas blockers causing enough chaos in there to make it so Sadie can just tiptoe through. Great offense by Crust. More good offense there by Crust and Jim. Crust and Jim, you're right. Oh, Crusty Jim. Comes Slim Sadie trying to get some more points. Ms. Rebel is going to avoid a track cut. Jim Rat, a proud owner of five chickens now, has five chickens. Oh, Crust is going to the box. Shout out to Jam 8, that was exciting. Also, shout out to all the fans out there. Yeah. Shout out to the fans. Thanks, the big gay fans I see. If we didn't have fans, we'd just be playing in an empty arena and that'd be boring. Oh, look at, there's gay fans over there. Oh yeah, there. big gay fans, big there's gay two fans. of them. Two big gay fans. <laughs> Off goes Speedcat for lead jammer status for the standbys. Kilroy is jamming. Kilroy accepted a star pass, but Speedcat is going to keep this pack fast. On the very outside, make sure that she stays inbounds and picks up all four points for standbys. The this pack is, is at a fever pace now until Kilroy got stopped in her tracks by a penalty that was committed. Kilroy scores four points. Sweet tr Cat trying to get around Cat Arena and does. Four more points for the ground, for standbys. I'm calling it off, uh, that's, you know, got your steps in on that one. Oh yeah. Big jam for Speed Cat on that one. Nice smart playing there. Big jam for Speed Cat and the standbys. RIP jam number nine, let's go on to jam number 10. Let's do it. Let's do that. Shout out to Kilroy for taking that star pass. Way to go, Kilroy. I know how much she loves that. Sasper versus Smack Overflow. Smack is going to play a little bit of jammer defense and bring Sasbury back a little bit. Making sure to get all the way out to the line is the standby, and that'll draw a track cut penalty on Sasbury and a power jam scenario for the standbys. Scenario, scenario, whatever. Hitless able to draw back that jammer back into the defense for Supernovas. Here comes the offense for Denver and out for lead jammer is Smack Overflow. Nova's trying to anticipate the offense. Doing some quick offense. A lot of offense there being played by Denver. Most of it looks pretty darn effective as uh, Smack is out for four points. Great and track awareness by Denver, seeing that Sass awareness. was back in and reforming that defensive wall pretty quickly. Nice hit out there by Last Warfare. 
Sass has removed the star, hoping to pass it. And we have another supernova star pass. A star pass. The star pass has happened. It has been uh, completed. And Hitless is already at the back of the pack, forcing Smack Overflow to call it off. Four more points. Total of eight for standbys and Smack Overflow. Standby is having some really solid jams the last couple. Hitting their groove. Hitting Getting their in groove. the groove. Shout out to waiting until 25 seconds to call a timeout. Timeout green. Wow, this. Again. Staying hydrated. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. This timeout is brought to you by drinking some water. Wow, we have this little reprieve. Make sure you go get some merch. Buy some merch. Yeah. I saw some cool patches. They, got some, they do have some cool patches. That's very nice. Shout out to Riff Track over there at the NSRD booth. Hi, Riff Track. Hi, Riff Track. You're doing great. Doing great, buddy. How long are the tattoo tables still open? They good? Yeah, good. go get a tattoo. Go get, go get blasted. Get some new art on your body. Amazing. Forever. What a fun idea. It's a great I idea. I love that. Couldn't be me, but, you know. Yeah, 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 you know. Everybody loves a good old rolling whistle. That means that some more roller derby is on the way. That was a perfect... That was a perfect rolling whistle. We got Bash Tay going up against the real Slim Sadie. Bash Tay almost making it through on the inside line there. But Jim Rat was able to give a little hip pop. Little hip pop. Karen playing some offense for Sadie up at the front. Karen now directing traffic as the bridge. And everybody's just getting to know each other here on turn one. They're just like, you know what? We're done playing. We just want to hang out. Oh, nice psych out there by Slim Sadie. Able to pick up lead jammer status on the inside line here on turn number one. We got a regular scrum happening up here. Oh, big old scrum. Bashtag able to stay in bounds, but not for much longer. Karen able to draw Bashtag to the back. Slim Sadie trying to take some advantage of the offense being provided by Ariel here at the second straightaway. In the meantime, at the back of the pack, we've got Bash Tag working against. The oh, Bash of the Tag pack. looking to try to do a star pass, but the pivot has gone to the box, so that cannot happen this time. Not for another 30 seconds, it can't. 30 seconds. Crust is back. Hi, Crust. Hey, Crust. Hi. <laughs> Both teams are going to start one blocker down to start off jam number 12, everybody's favorite number. I don't know. It's probably somebody's favorite number. Off we go with Moose definitely jamming and getting out right away for Lou Jammer status. Moose definitely, that will prompt a star pass to Kilroy, who loves jamming. Loves, loves jamming. Loves it. Moose definitely trying to get some points. We've got a forearm call. Oh, Gil's back. Kilroy Hi, Gil. not picking up any. Moose picking up two. Two for the Moose. Moose definitely is most definitely wishing the officials a nice day. That jam was a quick one. That one didn't last very long. No, that was a very short jam, as all jam 12s. Almost blink and it was over. A 
little jammer on jammer action while we figure out the pivot line shenanigans. Dancing around there is Gremlin trying to get through Hit List and Red Hot Toddy. Here comes Sassberry trying to make their way. And there goes Gremlin picking up Lee Jammer status for Denver and the standbys. Hit List and Toddy did a great job holding that jammer as long as they could with just the two of them before Krusk and Gil came back to join them. Gremlin calling it off. Three points for Gremlin and the standbys. Grabbing three points. All right, we got Sadie and Speed Cat. Classic combo. That's a combo. We all know and love it. No pack being Both called. We need small, a bridge. Cheeky cameras. Speed Cat trying some speedy tactics. Got a high block being called on, on aerial. aerial assault. That'll thin out the herd a little bit more for Speed Cat. Just has to make it around Salty Mod, and Jim Rat does not. Gets hit to the inside and has to get drawn all the way back. Back at the ranch, Slim Sadie is trying to get through. A lot of really good defense. Shout out to defense. Also, shout out to offense. Who? Shout out to the offense. Bronny Darko. Excellent. Speed doing Cat a great is job. out. That means doing the star pass. The jammer out. Star pass has occurred. Here comes Jim Rat. Speed cast, speeding around the outside, picking up all four points for Denver in the standbys. <laughs> the standbys doing an excellent job of creating just enough chaos to let their jammer just sneak on past. Just get, scooch on by you there. Oh, I'm just going to scooch by Oop. you there. Oop. Oh, yeah. Oop. Interesting strategy there being played by uh, the standbys. Katarina Hit is out for Lee Jammer status. And there goes Smack Overflow, not too far behind. Let's find out what the pack wants to do. A lot of shoving, a lot of offense. Some more fancy footwork Ooh. by Katarina Hit and calling it off. All four points for Katarina, none. Spinny spin there at the end. Little that was spin lovely. Move. You know. Another short-lived jam. Short jams are nice, too. Jam 15, we hardly knew thee. Moose v. Sass. And a lot of movement going on there at the front. And Sassberry out for lead jammer. Sass using Salty there to meanwhile, kind of push through. Meanwhile, Moose not afraid to absorb some hits and dish them right back out and picks up not lead. While Sassberry is trying to get through the morass of the pack as it's going through the second straightaway. Some folks are hitting the deck. Moose approaches the back of the pack, but not quite in time. So that'll be none points for the standbys and four more for the supernovas. Yup. Ooh, we have a gym rat jam coming up. Giving Sadie a little break. Sadie's taking her turn. Yeah, Sadie will just switch it up and be a blocker every now and then. It's fine. Why not? Jim Rat, as we mentioned, is going to be the jammer of note for these supernovas. Just has one more to get around, stays in bounds, or does. We have a high block. A little jammer on jammer defense there. That'll be a very late uh, power jam call for uh, Jim Rat. Got a high block, it looked like. 
Supernova is trying to run the pack. Run Maybe the pack to and tire run. out that jammer a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hashtag's been putting out some real, real hard work here. Trying to get around everybody. A lot of offense being played. A lot of offense by being Denver. Played. Love to see it. Gotta stay active. You know, you gotta get moving out there. Yeah. Although the supernovas are doing an excellent job of capitalizing and killing that uh, power jam. It's great work. Strong defense by the Supernovas, and here is Jim Rat once again rejoining us in a regularly scheduled Jam 17 with only about 40 seconds left. Both jammers Here we are. fighting and giving it their all against two really strong lines. Really strong lines wow. here trying to make sure that Jam 17 ends without any points occurring to, for anybody. Jim Rat trying to do the push, then break away and trying to make that line move. That's it. Wow. Jam 17. Hey, everybody. Give it up for those two jammers. That was a Another hard two one. two jammers. Way to go, Bash Tag. Way to go, Jim Rat. And I was wrong. There was four points put on the board to give the standbys a very nice score here on Have a Nice Day. Nice. Nice. We have an official timeout. Once again, shout out to track maintenance. Shout out to track maintenance. Give it over track maintenance. Woo! That was fun. I love a good chant. Each team maybe taking some time, talk about track a little bit while the track gets fixed. I wonder what they're talking about. Oh, they're probably just sharing their hopes and dreams and aspirations. Macaroni and cheese recipe? Definitely favorite macaroni and cheese recipe. Maybe a sandwich that they've enjoyed in the past? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Their favorite float flavor from the ice cream truck outside? There are many float flavors to choose from, from the float flavor Francis thing outside. I think that's the name of it is Francis. Nailed it. Nailed it. You um, nailed that. We're, we're killing it over here. You're doing great. You're doing great. Thanks. Yeah. 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 We should date. Yeah, that's a great okay. idea. I love that idea. Let's buy a house. Oh, we already did that. Oh, we did, we, we, we did, did, did that. that. We did that. We did that. How many cats do you want? Thank you. <laughs> that's why I wear them to get compliments. <laughs> I, I saw her put those on today. I was like, someone's going to get a lot of compliments today on her overalls. This timeout once again brought to you by Staying Hydrated. Stay hydrated, folks. It's a hot one out there. It's a hot one, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what will help you cool off is a tattoo. Get that yeah. adrenaline going. Yeah. Shout out, for, shout out to friendship. Shout out to friendship. Look at all these friends over here. Look at Look all these them. friends we've got. We've been at friends. Yeah. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hey, well, if you're in town next weekend, Daryl and I are having a garage sale. I am also having a garage sale because it's at our house. Come buy our stuff. Buy our junk. Shameless plug for buying our stuff. Here we go for jam number 18, Gremlin versus Katarina Hits. Katarina Hits out for lead jammer. So on that last one, the jammer for the Novas went to the box, came out, was still on her initial pass, and was awarded points
but then we had to take, and there was a lot of things happening, so we had to take those points away, or no points were awarded. They were just confirming all of that. That's why we had to stop. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, so Katarina got lead. Back to the action, as you're all observing there on the first straightaway. We've got Gremlin going up against Katarina Hit. Katarina Hit did get awarded lead jammer status. There was an attempted star pass before Kilroy said, no, I don't want that. Failure to return penalty. We'll get the pack down to three for Denver. We got Brawny. Now the of, jammer took the star pass. A lot of skaters hitting the floor there in that first straightaway. Very physical game. And Katarina Hit is going to pick up four more points around the outside. Casual stroll through the pack. Supernova is playing a really solid D. Katarina Hit coming Panda back up around. Front playing some offense. Nearly out. Kilroy with the hit out. Little apex Woo! skip. Little, little hippity hop on the way to four points for Katarina. It's Bronny. Bronny Darko looking for some offense. But the end of the jam will happen instead. And with that, Katarina has a big 23-point jam. Out of the two games we have officiated, or uh, have called. Officially called, yes. Officially called. Yeah. That was the highest score we've, or jammer has gotten highest in, the, single jam. in the games. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So great work, Katarina. Shout out to high scoring jams. Here goes jam number 19. It'll be Smack Overflow versus Sass Berry. Early whistle getting blown for a multiplayer multi block. block. Although you may want to, you can't hold your friend's hands and oh block no. at the same time. You can hold your friend's hands later, that's fine. Sassbury able to sneak around and pick up lead jammer status. In the meantime, Smack Overflow. Smack Overflow thought they got out, and then those Nova's blockers just came yep. right back around. Okay, right Hate back to see it. Speaking of coming right back around, here's Sassbury weaving their way through the pack. And drawing Red a Hot low Toddy block going penalty. to the box. Oop. High what traffic area in front of here in the box. That'll be three more points for Sassberry. Toddy got a low block. Toddy got a low block. <laughs> Red Hot Toddy, also a hockey player. Oh, hockey, we got Went that over there. Went over there and, and did a little hockey skating before as her warm-up. Somebody got new skates. Nice. Dare I say, this may be the last jam. Oh, my goodness, the entire half has almost gone already. There goes Moose, definitely. She gone. She doesn't want to have anything to do with that pack no more. She's out. Got lead jammer for Colorado, Denver. Denver, not Colorado. Come on. Last Warfare using... Moose avoids a track cut and picks up four points. Krusty has accepted the star pass and is hot on her heels. Ooh. Yep, Moose will call it off. That'll be... All right, we have an unofficial score. We'll see if this becomes official, which I don't see why it wouldn't. And there we go with that whistle. We have our final score of Supernovas coming up on top with two 
54 against the standbys, 